Hi, this is Jen Vickers, and in this video, I am going to show you how to put in one of your documents and make it a template, and then putting it into a room and having adding signatures and all that. Now, the document that I'm wanting to upload is this one right here. It's a seller to proceeds sheet. And what I'm going to do on here is this one, I'm going to add boxes here to fill out. I'm going to add signatures and dates. Now, if this is a document that I just want to add signatures, I don't have to create a template for it. I can just upload it into my documents and then just add signatures. But on this one, I specifically want to add in the documents here and want to have it set every single time. So what I'm going to do is I will go back to my dashboard. And over here on the right, I want to click on my picture and I want to switch down to e-signature because the e-signature side is where we create templates. And so I'm going to click up at the top and click on templates. And then over here on the left, I want to click on the yellow box that says new and click on create template. So the first thing I want to do, I want to name the template. So this is a seller proceeds sheet. So that's what I'm going to name this. What I want to do is I'm going to add the document. And this is what I want to add. And click on open. So in this, this is a seller's thing. So I want to put the roles in here that everybody's going to sign. And there is an agent signature in here too. So I want to add in here listing agent and recipient. Under the role, I want to click on seller one. And make sure you put it exactly like this because that's how it is under the rooms. Um, so you need to make sure, because if you do the number one, it's not going to match it up. So up here on this roll, I want to do seller two. Now it's important to know if you want to do a set a signing order or not. So if I want to click on set signing order, because it automatically sets a signing order, um, that this is the order that look to see how you want it. Um, if you do not set the signing order, you need to make sure that the signing order is not set on the envelopes. So you can go ahead and pre-do your email signature and then click on next. And so the first thing I want to do, there's a couple of different ways. If you want to fill it out first, like get the email and you as a listing agent to fill it out, First, what you can do is you can add in here like a text box down here. Oops. And stick it over here. And then I'm gonna reduce it a little bit. So the first thing you know, this is a solid box. If I want this to be a required field, I would keep it solid. But if I want to make it an optional to fill out, I can unclick it, but you can still see it's a yellow box. So the listing agent is the one to fill it out. Now I can keep adding the boxes, but, but because I changed the size, the easiest thing to do here is like you click on the box and you click on here. I have a PC, so I want to do control C to copy. Uh, Mac would be a command C and then I can paste and move that down here. I can just continue doing it. So. I can do it that way. I can highlight both sets. And you notice I didn't have to highlight it all total. But I can do a copy this way. Paste. Make sure you like that. Paste. I can do multiple. So if I want to do all of these at one time. Okay. Now, if you're like me, one of my pet peeves is how crooked this is. So if you're OCD, one thing, if you want to straighten these up, you can highlight each of these. And then over here on the right, you can see you can line these up over here. So I'll, let's move it all to the left. And then 
we, we can move it to the right. Now, and this, what all I did is I just did my right arrow key on those. Now, these are not lined up to it, but what I can do is I can line it up to this one. Highlight these, and then let's do it to the left on this too. And that, there you go. Now, if you want to, this is set up again to fill out once you send it to email it out or send it out for signatures. Now, if you want to set it up so that you fill it out under the envelopes, you would use this, click on this uh, pencil over here on the left, this is pre-filled tools, click on that and then use this text box and bring that over here. And then again, is it a mandatory field or not? So you can like click it off so it's not a mandatory field. And then you can do the same concept as far as adding all these boxes. I'm not gonna do all of these, but you get the you get the general gist. You just go all the way down and you do the same thing. Now down here for the signatures, we wanna go back up to the standard field. So I'll get this regular box. I wanna add the listing agent is going to be right here date and signed and then we go to seller one date sign seller two then date sign over here now if you do not have a seller to um, just you don't click seller to on the other but it's ready for it in case you have it so once you're done doing all this you click at the bottom and click on save and close so now your template is complete so now what we want to do is we want to go up here and switch back to rooms and i'm going to show you a couple of different ways that you can send this out. If this is the only document that you want to send, you go over to the envelopes, you click on over here that says new, the document is under the templates under the e-signature so you want to click here upload and use a template click on my templates it's already highlighted but if it's not go click on that and you click on here seller proceeds as and then you can see here um, I will add here listing agent is is me seller one You can change any of this if you want. Click on next. And you can see everything is filled out. I mean, it's it supposed to be, or it's not filled out, but over on the left, you can see who who is what. Now, and over here, I can go ahead and fill out these, these documents here. I can click over here on this next, and I can say how much. And then just continue on going down through all of this. These right here, I can fill out, but you're gonna get them in the signatures anyway. So you can use the pre-filled tools to go ahead and do it like this so that you don't, all that you would do is when you get it, you just sign it. Okay, so now let me show you, save and close, another way. So if you are using, are uploading another document with it. For example, I want to, and just know that here it added this as a PDF automatically, but here I wanna add this exclusive right to sell and I'm gonna add that seller proceeds. This right here is a document, it's just a PDF. It doesn't, I'm not gonna have any of the pre-filled tools in there. So I wanna add the template in here. So I wanna click on here that says create envelope. I want to click on here everybody that needs to sign and click on continue
So here's the document I already had. I'm going to click here, upload, use a template. My templates, I want to use that seller proceeds and click on add selected. Now, if for some reason, oh, let me first show you. See, I'll, I'll go ahead and add these in here. So before the other, if you add just the template, it's not going to put these in here. But if you have another document, it's going to automatically add them in here. Let me go ahead and show you. And then I'll go back and fill out. You can see there's these signatures from the document and you can see all of this is in here automatically. Now, what I was going to go back and show you real quick, if for any reason that this does not have um, those um, set one, two, three, if this is just everybody's like a one, before you add this document, what you would need to do is you need to go up here, you would unclick this, then come up and add the document. So if you have any questions about it, feel free to contact me, make a comment on the video, and I can help you with whatever questions that you may have.